One minute and 40 seconds. Yeah. Fifty seconds. Huh? Fifty seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, England nil in the first 40, it's only 3-0. But Italy deserving of that lead. They are undoubtedly <laughs> going to be tested physically. <laughs> and also, in terms of their engines, they would have had little experience Ready? in playing matches yeah. Yeah. with this sort of intensity. <laughs> so we're away in the second 40. Ball there going to one of the outstanding players in the first 40, the Italy captain Giacomo Ferrari. Well, Dowie, if you'd have been in the Italy dressing room in the first 40, what would have been your instructions for the second? The Italy just exactly the same, keep the line speed up, try and not give as many penalties away, and just carry on. You know, commit to those to the the next 40 minutes because they're well in this game. They're, they're wait! powering England Do in the wait! scrums. They're making mistakes, but they're making mistakes po possibly um, on things that are that are really causing England problems. So I would give credit to them and just say exactly the same. England, on the other hand, just have to up it. They have to get some territory, um, possession, and all of the Blue. above, and start to sort the scrum Blue. out because they've just been it's smashed in the scrum. Line. The ball was cleared there by the young fullback Carlo May, one of the Italy players who has another year in the age group. On there to Grayson, the long pass just tipped on. Taken forward by Francis Moore, the Saracen. That's it straight away. I think uh, Alan Dickens has uh, made his fe fe feelings felt in the, in the dressing room. What they're going to do is get the big fellas up Knock on and don't make any mistakes. And that's exactly what they do again. Well, Italy have demonstrated tonight that they can play with precision and width no, when necessary. Forcing England into mistakes. Quick pass there from the fly half. Danegi, who impressed as well in that first 40. It's an advantage being played here to Italy. Nassarella there with the kick, but it was charged down. We come back for the penalty. And that's about his first mistake, but again, it was a play to nothing. They were a free play. It's One, charge. Charge down. Thank Even you. For the prop, captain, I think, Finn Baxter again. England were doing some good One, patterns charge. and some good phases. Like I said, putting the backer up the middle. Quick ball then to the scrum half. Jones hitting uh, the likes of uh, Grayson, but... One little mistake, and all of a sudden, these guys in blue get the ball and they start hoofing it down the park. And we know what uh, their strength is, they're really up for the fight tonight. Finn Baxter, the England captain, had a lot to say to the referee in that first 40, but got to be careful. You have to establish a relationship with the referee, but you don't want to get on the wrong side of them. There has to be a bit of the bedside manner about that relationship as well. So here is Frangini, the hooker. Well taken by Belasi. There goes Ferrari again. Making an average of 11 metres a carry in the first half. Look at the commitment that time from Autumn Bina. Here he is again, the open side. Belasi just on the edge of the England 22. Another decent carry. That time Ilioni was trying to 
turnover but he was well cleared out by the Italians look at Garbisi there pleading with the referee here's Garbisi again another penalty advantage being played here so it's another free one coming in from the left wing there was Lazarine there is Lazarine just getting under the tackle no advantage no Starting with the left off, isn't it? Speed, they're absorbing. When they take the ball and they do so well, Number Italy, four. by absorbing that first tackle, don't go too far. The next, they then drive their legs yeah. another yard or two to give the clear out guys a chance to get with them. Again, he's going to go for three points. You can see they're just picking up the legs. That's okay as long as he doesn't go down on his head. And he missed a, a sitter almost. Well, it, I don't say exactly, but I think the, the last when one he was, was straighter on. Yeah in front of the post but again That's really he has to reward his forwards yeah, so and his ball out. carriers now with no, another me, three to make it six nil so it's not possible to continue to play the ball but when, when i'm trying to get no. yeah. so nicolo teneggi yeah. one yeah. out of two oh, so okay. far no, plays his club yeah. rugby for our rugby emilia another of those feeder clubs in the uh, top 10 league Five minutes into this second half, can Tanegi double the Italian advantage? That was a much purer strike. England making alterations, stripped off and ready to go is Charlie Rice. The Bristol second row. And also I think there's a change about to be made at fly half. Jamie Benson hasn't really had a chance to get into the game yet. Well, Alan, Sorry. Alan Diggins not messing about. He's make, made his uh, replacements just five minutes into the second half. Not happy. And that gives uh, yeah. well, a lift Diamond. for the rest of the team or a kick up the backside. Whatever way you want to think about it. So Alpi Bell, who took a couple of heavy knocks in that first half, is replaced. change which looked like being made at fly half for England has yet to come yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of the bench are getting themselves warmed up here they were uh, it's gone a bit cold I think it's it's not given a frost but it's given them to the sort of low degrees three four degrees or so but the England bench are on their walks or run round the park because I think they might be needed at a minute. And they're from Matty Jones. Grayson driving forward, who hasn't been really given the space today. Leone with a powerful carry, getting through one tackle, taking play up to the Italy 22. This is a little bit better from England. There goes Stuart, the hooker. That Italian player has to get out of the way. Oh, and Grayson just letting it slip. No advantage. Offside. The referee was playing an advantage. The Italians have come offside. And once again, Matty Jones taking it quickly. Charlie Rice getting forced back, the replacement. He presents it to Jones. There goes Litchfield. The powerful Northampton centre, Jones. That's Wardle. Much, much better from England. Grayson there, and that's uh, Ilioni again, just cunning in field. But look at the tackle. The dominant, powerful tackles coming in from the Italians. There's Stewart. At the moment, the Italians absorbing every blow. The one thing England are doing, though, they're keeping the ball. They're just retaining the ball, going through the phases, presenting that ball to Jones, the scrum half, so things can happen. There's Jones again. Now there's a bit of space for England for perhaps the first time tonight. Desperate defence coming in, and just for a moment, Moore looked like he might have got through, but the penalty goes to the Italians. And every time they get a turnover, Every time they get a scrum penalty, they celebrate it like they've won the lottery. Well, I think that's about the first line no, break. I think they made nine last week. 
up in Scotland. And again, it's the referee. She's been on it straight away. Unless you're there protecting that ball, getting that ball back. That's those big hits you're talking about, Mark Martin. Bailey trundled back, but he did well to retain the ball. Went out then to his opposite, well, opposite wing more. And again, makes the break, and you think it's all on. Possible try, possible pass out of contact, and then a great tackle, no support, penalty. Well, talking about the developments of Italian rugby at this level, bear in mind, Tommaso Menoncello, you were there in Paris last weekend, broke all yeah. sorts of records, scoring that opening try on his debut against France at the Stade de France. Menoncello was playing in this fixture last season. But to, ha oh, to okay. hype back, it, you know, it has to be Itali it Italy's future. They have to invest in in making Benetton, which they're doing, and I, I know for a fact, a, a sort of super it's team, but they have to experience week in, week out, 80 minutes of intense rugby. <laughs> Whether they do that, but they're just going to have to do it. But again, for these young lads, it is, it's a great opportunity to be put together, to be you know, hone their skills, get the best coaches, um, and try and see if they develop. The well, two former Italy national team coaches sitting not too far away in conversation Franco Smith who now runs the entire development project with Italian rugby and Conor, Conor O'Shea who I guess is his shadow now at the Rugby Football Union at Twickenham having been Italy's national coach at the last World Cup no 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 right this is what you want to see from your players now Alan Dickens want to see a reaction from England half an hour to go. <laughs> Is that any worse than the Italian forwards? <laughs> Did England to give those two penalties away? Probably not, but a kick tennis. Pane just putting the ball in and just calming matters down. Stewart fired down by Lockett. Flat pass. Look at the tackle coming in there from ODAC. There's Grayson, pops it up to Litchfield, the two Northampton Saints. Three or four metres inside the Italy half. Benson just gets through. Eventually, the Azzurri Blue knock him down. There's Lockett onto Grayson, the short ball. There's a powerful carry coming from Toby Knight. He scored two tries last week up at Edinburgh. Litchfield, who's a very solid customer. Eventually, no clear release. they get him down. No clear release. There is another penalty advantage being played against uh, the Italians. Grayson just trying to work his way we through there. Every the says soccer. there's another advantage being played there. But England failing to make much progress at the moment. No, no, stop. That was Moore just threading Run. it through. That's one for Bailey to get after. No advantage. Yes, no, and there was we a bit of a test there for Pandy coming across. Or not but he was equal to it, but will come way. back all yeah, the way over to the other side for the penalty. And Finn Baxter's in the, in the referee's line. ear again. What, what, this one? In the That's middle. fine again. Uh, they do play a long period of uh, yeah. advantage time, but England doing well. Yeah, I've got to say, Litchfield twice carrying the ball on the right hand side, on the left hand side. Exactly what Passarella has done for Italy in that first half. That time, there were no options. Pane, the other wing coming across to uh, to secure the ball. Now, what are England going to do? There's plenty of time, but every time in that first half, they've turned the points down and they've gone no, into no, the corner, stop nine. Yes, thinking yeah. they will trundle. Well, it's a very different England side to the one we saw last June and July, who won the Grand Slam, picked up the maximum 28 points, every try bonus point so that was going. Here plus the additional three for completing the Grand Slam. So Captain, no, comparisons no, really are clear. a little naive, yeah. but such is the depth of quality in English Please. rugby that Let me make winning yes. the title yeah. year in, year out, so, ten is certainly here. not taken for granted, but anything short of that pretty much represents failure. Alberto. They got themselves out of a little bit of a tight spot the last kicker. week in yeah. Edinburgh. This, I would it's suggest, possible to have a water boy is a more the significant kick. one. Here this he is, is, Jamie Benson. This is respect for Italy. 
They've tried to go into the corner. They've tried the catch and drive. It hasn't worked. We've got to get some points on the board. Still massively in this game. Plenty of time to do things to score tries, but they just want to get to uh, nudge three points just to make that distance three points. Well, he was knocking him over for fun last week, and he's hit the upright this time, but then it's put down by Taneji, and that's costly. I think you can lip read. I think it's... Uh, Strong right. Again, it doesn't quite strike it right. Obviously, it hits the post, but again, the result is OK for England. They got the put in. Passarella, again, just retaining that ball he doesn't he should actually be looking at the post if it comes off the post you can actually just catch it he's turned towards England it's very difficult to catch that ball and this is an amazing opportunity if England's scrum can go and saying that big fella comes on Hobson Damon so it's the Harlequin replacing the London Irishman Will Hobson Coming on for Mikey Summerfield. Hobson was actually the loose head replacement last week. Crouch! Now you can see straight into the scrum. Will Hobson. Set! Up against Luca Rizzoli. It's not stable. Please play back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good from it's Italy. It's not stable. They're just loving the fight, aren't they? They're loving the niggle, they're doing position, everything please. in there. Let's go. They've had the ascendancy in this area. In the first half, they want to keep it on. They want to make it as uncomfortable as possible for England to launch anything. You can see Hendy hasn't had much ball on this right-hand side. They've stacked it left. Bailey's further on but, um, Hendy's right-hand side, so options open. Browns! But... The big job Bye. first, get the ball in and get the ball out. Just six minutes short of the hour, reaching the end of the third quarter of the match. There it is for Matty Jones. Benson waits for it, Grayson alongside him. They miss him out and go to Litchfield, but he's easily picked off. There's Ilioni. On there from Jones again, another powerful carry. That coming that time from Toby Knight, but the ball is lost forward. And Italy breathe again and right in the thick of things once more, the Italian captain. And we've all played in games <laughs> before. Yeah, you should win this by bonus point. You should do this to the opposition. And all of a sudden, you just feel something's not going right. A couple of fumbles there from Jones in this game. The ball was laid back brilliantly. A little bit anxious for the options. Should I go left? Should I go back against the flow? It's just playing into Italy's hands, isn't it? Again, that ball bouncing off the poles for the penalty. Time is off. This would shake the Under-20s Championship up, wouldn't it? Very much. And see, this ball is good. Big, big carry from the captain. That's fine. And then it's just the leg, isn't it? One of the big bean poles gets his leg in there. Jones will get the blame for that, but unfortunately, it was a big second row's yes. leg Here. that gets on the ball Here. and he can't uh, release it. But it doesn't just shake up the under 26 nations, it shakes up the perception of Italy as a rugby playing nation. All that speculation about the future of Italy Left on the mark. in uh, yeah. rugby's greatest championship at senior level, but you've only got to look at the England side that performed the Grand Slam. Just what, eight months or so ago, the likes of Orlando Bailey, Same Rafi line. Quirk, who made his full yeah. England debut in the autumn. Finn Crouch. Smith, who uh, is starting these days Bang. for Worcester in the Premiership. Jack Van Portfleet doing Set. the same at Scrum Half for Leicester. Jack Clement in the back row for Gloucester. Ewan Richards doing the same for, for Bath. It's a very swift transition to full international level. Well, and look scrum. at that scrummage. Utterly destroyed England. Rizzoli, Frangini, Genovese, they are doing an amazing job. Plus another five forwards, obviously, but that, again, it's sapping England's strength. It's just raising Italy above the levels they expected, <laughs> and that lad is applauding the crowd. He knows he's got England on toast at the moment. No place to go. Normally, the scrum is such a safe area for England to go to. They don't want one. The game penalty after penalty, losing yards. 
Now, can Italy, with what, we're coming nearly into the last quarter, close this game off? Like you said, the, the, the crowd will absolutely erupt. A long way to go, I know, but uh, they've been, been brilliant tonight to frustrate England. The only question I would ask you, Mark, and again, it's something I bang on about all the time, fitness. Can they keep this up? And just as you think, they lose a line out. So that's the question, Mark. The biggest 20 minutes of these group of lads' is playing careers so far, the ones in blue, that probably the ones in white as well. Yours it! Well, the Italian line out has been something of an Achilles heel so far this evening. Oh, and there goes Grayson getting through two tackles. Perhaps just a second real line break coming there from... That Italian defence out there from George Hendy, the fullback. It's there for Matty Jones. Just a little bit of encouragement now for England. There goes Toby Knight taking play up to the 22. Jones, Grayson again. Benson, the long pass, but the long pass just finding Pass fresh on. air. Gathered up there by Diego Bailey. They still have possession to the men in white. Ilioni at speed, makes a few metres, it's there again for England. Benson, Grayson, there are white jerseys oh. out wide. And that really sums up the evening so far for England. Francis Moore, since there was daylight, since there was a man outside. And he just grabbed it a bit too quickly. Well, they're playing everything on gamble tonight. The rest defence. Yeah, I know, I know. Italy are just throwing themselves off this defensive line, Captain? trying to squeeze the life Captain? and the space out of England in the midfield. You Every time England look up, there's a blue score. shirt coming at him, and they can't control the passes going wide. It, yeah. Italy now so, making subs. Baxter asking the referee to clarify yeah, certain things, but again, it's just frustrating strength. England. Okay. Well done, Italy. You. You're causing yeah. massive problems. Here we go. Line after line, you can see there Grayson. And he doesn't get his pace from his father, Time I can show sure his dad wasn't that fast. But again, he's the one just trying to straighten things up. He can see there's no space yeah. on the outside. Italy are closing down, closing England down all the time. Well, there is confirmation of that change which, which has been made in Italy's back row. Carlo Bellesi of the local club, Rogers Tarvisium, the second team here in Treviso. He's been replaced by Giovanni Cenodesi. The put in there from Garapisi. Use the ball! Ferrari being told to use it. Garapisi with the clearance there. Finds a little bit of space. Back goes George Hendy. Hendy considers the options. He's got support on his left. He's a very dangerous runner, is the Northampton fullback. Gets within three or four metres of halfway. Here's Stewart, the hooker. Powering his way. Now, I wonder. Is that Italian pack just beginning to tire a little? There is just a sense, maybe, just maybe, the balance of power just shifting a little bit in the match, but the scoreboard, it's all Italian at the moment. England without a point to show, and we are within seconds of the one-hour mark. Jones knocks it end over end, but he only finds May. May stay, feeds the stay, ball back, stay. there's the clearance. Garbisi comes away with a bit of a limp. Move. Benson pumps it up high. Here's Garbisi again. He flings it wide. On there to Tenegi. Tenegi again finds support out wide. Along to Fazari. And now here's Pani. And Pani is upending an important tackle there from Hendy. Garbisi. Driven forward by Andrioli. There again for Italy. Listen to the crowd here in Treviso. It's been a long, long time since they've been able to cheer an Italian victory in the senior, the Guinness Six Nations, back at Murrayfield. Seven years ago, that was. It's nine years ago that the men, the senior men, that is, won in Rome. And now up here in Rugby's Heartland in Treviso, just at, what, 40 minutes or so from Venice, right in the top right-hand corner of the country. Maybe, just maybe, the Azzurri Blue within 19 minutes of what would be a famous victory. Looks like the Bailey not rolling out the way on Ethan Grayson, just uh, 
Wow, into the corner they go. They are putting everything on risk and reward tonight, and it's coming off. This was the kick. It was, again, tremendously taken. They see the space. I've got to say, Tenacia has been outstanding at, uh, at outside half. Yes. Fuzari making the break. This guy, Pani's always looking for work, and then they just swipe it back from the right-hand side to the left. Love the result market. was a scrambling defence from England. And Italy taking advantage of that penalty and pumping it down. What they're 10 metres out now. England changing both of their halfbacks. Off go Maddie Jones, off goes Jamie Benson, on comes Sam Edwards. The Leicester Tiger making his yeah, debut fine. at this level, also on his Louis Johnson. The Newcastle Falcon, the youngster, who's got another year in the age group. Started last week against Scotland. Oh. The catch there from Odiense. And it's a penalty advantage. England sticking their hands on an Italian arm in the line now. And you can see there Lapo Frangini has the ball there driving it forward. Starting to head in the right direction. Emeka Ilioni trying to disrupt. He's now going to retire to the back. Number one. Well, it's a big call, this. Well, Do you take the points? Do you set up an advantage which is more than a converted try? He took the points. He's taken them before. Three, six, nine. It's a way above then a converted try for England. They frustrated yes. five, England five, so five. far, so much. They haven't really shown any of their hand. England. They haven't been allowed to. England didn't jump on that occasion. If they had, they possibly could get it. But again, a drill's a drill. Please That's what the defensive drill called. Thank you. And the result, I think it was Baxter who's uh, again been talking to the referee, got involved in something. Um, penalty was there on a free play. They've gone for another three. Yeah. And I. Agree totally. I think this is the correct decision as long as this guy gets it over. But there's no doubt this is the biggest kick of the night so far. 17 minutes remain. If this is successful, even a converted try with ink from England would see them trailing. Oh, it's off the upright. Well, it happened over, to Jamie over. Benson. It's now happened there to Niccolò Tonegi. How expensive might that prove to be? Litchfield just gives England a little bit more breathing space. Here's Sam Edwards, the Stay Tiger. Back. Well, that hasn't found touch. Chance maybe for the Italians to counter. There's the captain, Ferrari. They're very happy to go wide. Two grabs taken by Fazzari. Gardisi. Look at that from Rizzoli. He's still full of running the loose head. Gardisi. Tenegi. Oh, that's a loose pass. That could prove dangerous. The mopping up done by Passarella. But Italy find themselves 15 metres inside their own half. Little more than 15 minutes to go. That finish line for Italy still a long way in the distance. Well, Ferrari goes hacking the ball through. It's then lost forward, so it's a knock and advantage to England. No advantage, no con. It's just one of those nights, isn't it? You think? England have got a ball back that they shouldn't have. All of a sudden, they've gone down and then it's gone forward again. Thin Baxter takes a minute. You think it's there, and unfortunately for Rice, it wasn't. It's gone forward. Ferrari again. He's just been a, an absolute. Excuse my friend. Sports car and engine going forward, being defensive line, encouraging his troops. Everything. He's the real deal. The full package. Yes, time is off. England just can't get things going. They get one good fancy to play, and then all of a sudden mistakes okay? happen. And I asked, you know, what what will make it okay. Italy better? Playing for 80 minutes with concentration, making very few mistakes. 
And as soon as I said that, you know, Taneshi makes a, a bad passing error. But his mates get him out of the out of the mire. You know, they get back for him, they get over the ball, they turn the ball back over. Ah, it's a fantastic le team performance. Yes. Baxter just getting his shoulder in the wrong place that time. So the Italians preparing to make another change is Matteo Rubinato, who is part of the Benetton club. So this is home turf for him. There he is waiting to come on. He's going to replace one of the uh, Italian locks. The captain's back in one piece. And to think, this time last week he was playing in the English Premiership for Harlequins. Just on left, he's here, it's fine for me, yeah. Not too many of these Italians at the moment play at that sort of level. That man there, Alessandro Garbisi, has made half a dozen appearances for Benetton this season. But most of these players play in the uh, semi-professional top ten league. Set! And there's the put in from Garbisi. Ferrari controlling things at number eight. He picks it up back to Garbisi on from Taneji. Oh, that looks to be a miscue. It's a horrible miscue. May raises his arm, acknowledges the error. So they just mistakes now are just creeping into Italian's play is the pressure getting to them just over 15 or so to go or under 15 I should say and really that's a simple kick you know you, you you've got to find the grass you don't got to be too cute really that could have come off the box because again you get so much security with that Italian scrum they opted to go wide the old wiper ball in a sense but again out on the full England breathe again He's gone to lock it. Two-handed take. Here's Stewart. Grayson. Long pass out there from the replacement fly arm. Johnson. It's gone into the Italian 22, and that's well. A little bit frantic. The clearance. He has an attacking position for England. Nerves are getting to them now. You can tell. But England Eight. are telegraphing really what they're doing in the back line. They're not taking it up to the line. They're just dragging Eight the ball back behind all the time. It's so easy Eight, to defend. Yeah. Italy just sort of drift across the field. Numbers, Situation Numbers. then there, though, no other Don't option than just to pump over. that ball yeah. through. Yeah. Good grubber kick, force the force the error, and that's exactly what England have done. So Eight. they're still Eight. in the ascendancy. Eight. A wasp comes on for a tiger. Greg Fisilau, the wasp, replaces Emeka Elioni. Who is Captain. Well, it's a bold decision being made here by Italy. Giacomo Ferrari has been an inspirational figure for Italy. But on comes Matteo Rebinato. <laughs> so their new captain will be Alessandro Ottombina. No, no. Try score against France last week. Blue. That's a big call, I think, with 13 to go, unless he's Let's literally go. blown a gasket or something, because he has been an outstanding figure. England goes short, there's Stewart. Being Let held go. up by Frangini. <laughs> Edwards has his hands on it, there to Johnson. Litchfield, so powerful in the midfield. Grayson just threads it through. This is a tester. May is equal to it. Now, look at the white jersey swarming. There's a little bit of panic there from Italy, but that was well gathered by Fazzari, who has done remarkably well from that position. And here's the experience of Garbisi. Back to Taneji. And Taneji hoofs it into touch. Chance to take a few deep breaths. 
but there will be another line out for England just outside the 22. Yeah, and England start again, and Italy are just scrambling back, aren't they? They're trying everything to, to gift that ball to England. One big tackle, the ball gets dislodged, but they're getting away with it at the moment. One thing I have seen as we reach nearly that 10 minute, minute mark for the end of the game is the Italian forwards are walking now, they're walking to set pieces, they're trying to. Uh, Again, take the clock down, but these guys now should see that the England forwards and really go through the throat. No, back well, that one, wasn't back one. passed back that well from Lockett. Fed on there by Fisilao. Edwards in position. That's Johnson. Litchfield burst through a tackle. He scored late on against Scotland last week. Can he produce the try here, which might just, might just save England, but the Italians claiming there was uh, a knock-on there. Well, it's an interesting call from the assistant referee. It's come yeah. forward from an England hand. He didn't try to go go for the ball again. It's difficult to see at that speed, but the result is an Italian throw, and you can see Italy, the Italian forwards now <coughs> having, is off. having their own meeting. There's a problem with some English guy. It's just come on. Rick Fissilao uh, has yeah. taken a knock. Eric, je le vois avec le coup haut, pour ça. Comes from Rice's ouais. hand. But it goes out, yeah, it goes out with England's. They're, they're appealing for a, yes. a hand, and with the ascendancy in the scrum, we may fancy that better than the line to be honest. But uh, England just toe poking it into the into the sort of dugout. Well, wow, what a huge few minutes this is for <laughs> Massimo Brunello, the coach who himself played for Italy back in the days when they weren't a Six Nations side in the 80s and the 90s. <laughs> played uh, almost 300 matches for Rovigo. Well, if, if, I know you love your stats and you probably got this up, I'm going to nick it anyway. Have won their last 13 player. games against Italy in under 20s with an average yes, margin already. of 32 Official points. Review. So that's that's, <laughs> that's why they that's why they have a few Morettis tonight <laughs> and other obviously lagers yeah. if they do win and get over the Living line. Up. Like I said, I plenty of time. 10 minutes, big 10 minutes. Italy are, uh, are puffing out there, but again, England England making the mistakes. She's had a fantastic okay, game the Well, there's something she's being shown now. She's run all the way to the far end to okay. look at the big screen. Now, what is it we're looking at here? Tell me what you make of this, Dowie. It's the forearm to the throat, I think, of... Uh, okay, I think this is the best angle already. I think it's Litchfield, is it, making the break? Do you have the other angle from the... Well, it's Tom Litchfield. Yes, because for me, yeah. yeah. Let me give you this angle. Yeah. This is the angle we'll see. He's, he's making ahead. the break. He's trying to absorb the tacklers coming in. Second row, open side. Odessi's on his knees at, at one I point. I think I show you the best angle. Yeah. I, the for me, it's Yes, he has made contact with his elbow play. to the throat. Because but has he desperately yes, the, the meant that? No, he hasn't, because it happens in a split the second. chest and moves the arm in a second time. Well, listen in. Indeed, he starts with a push off, but then he moves his forearm up. Yeah. Okay. Just. I, well, you get a sense here that Eric Gozan is uh, perhaps trying to then lead the referee off. into making a decision. So I think that there is full play in the end because play. he's pushing on the throat of the, of the blue player. <laughs> Start, start legally. If you want to look at it one way, you could. If you want to look at it another, you can. He's, he's going through. He's been hit by two big fellas there. Which is a dangerous. He's trying to get the guy off. Has he deliberately gone for his shit? No, he hasn't. He's just protected himself. I think she knows this. It's on. Okay, I understand. Okay. Okay. Let's show another this angle again. Can you review? Yes. I think it's part uh, and parcel of the rough. Of the, arm. of the rough and tumble. She's, you can see in the expression, she just wasn't, wasn't wanting to make a decision here. Back, he's gone back. in. He's gone in. I dare say that the, the no. blind side flanker has gone in. Start legally. Yes. 
He's saying it starts legally and, and it doesn't end, but I don't know what on earth okay, Litchfield can do with that elbow. Yeah, so we have a full play in the second time. So for me, it's a low degree of danger. It's only penalty kick. Anyone disagree? Well, it's certainly going to be a penalty to Italy. Okay, Eric. Okay, avec this is. Only Piqué? For me, yes. Yeah. But if I'm the only one. Yeah. Well, it's just possible just that Eric uh, goes on at one point was perhaps pushing for more, but I think they've settled the with a penalty. You move the arm here and here. So it's low degree of danger. It's only Piqué against you. For no, it's yeah. No, it's. Certain yeah. white, certain white. No. No, no, in continue use the movement. Yeah. Certain white. Ah, well. C'est où Eric sur les 22? You start okay, then you end. You're not, you're not okay, but again, it's it's in oh, a. Be careful, you. You're carrying a ball. Piquet's penalty, <laughs> so it's just a penalty to to Italy to relieve the pressure. But. <laughs> so you, Nicolo Tonegi will not be taking any gambles with this. Yeah. England making Time off. an 11. alteration. Ollie Dawkins, 11. who started last week, yeah. is coming on and he will 11. replace yes, Francis so Moore. Off. So it is a like for like switch. Ollie Dawkins, the Wasp, replaces the Saracen. Diamond. Here we go. Ten minutes on the roulette wheel. Where's your money? Well, England have yet to trouble the scoreboard, but a converted try, as things stand, could well win the match. There's the new captain, Autumn Bina. Frangini, who wasn't involved in France last week. No. Jenna Daisy helping drive things. That's the man with 20 on his back. Look at this from Italy. That is as good and as powerful as anything we've seen all night. They forced the penalty and they're still going forward. There it is for Garbisi. The referee still playing a penalty advantage. Italy will be happy with that. If nothing else, it runs down the clock just that little bit more. That was Fazzari. Garbisi on from Teneggi and then the ball no, spilt. But it doesn't matter as far as Italy Silent are concerned. Three. England guilty of coming in from the side. Number one. Grisella, the referee, true to form, plays the advantage. Again, free play time. It's like someone watching the old senior Italian packs going back 20 years. Sticking that ball at the at the jumper and going for it. That was well controlled, well directed. Again, like you said, Martin, it eats into the clock. Pumps that ball to Nechi, pumps that ball down the corner. They'll walk to this line out. That is for sure. They will take the clock down. Still plenty of time to go. Yep. Blue on the line. But I don't think Blue the Italian the backs are going to be seeing this ball for a bit because their forwards want this and they want more of this. Well, that finish line just starting to appear in the dark distance. It's a little more than eight minutes away. It would be a famous, Use famous it! night Use for it! Italian rugby. And let's be frank, they haven't had too much to cheer so far this millennium. There's got to be seen. They are desperate for another score or Italy. At the moment, it is the narrowest of margins. Tenegi floats it over the top, and that was so dangerous. England have it. The kick ahead coming from Sam Edwards. Back scramble Italy. Inside. Stay. The clearance goes in field. The bounce of the ball eludes George Hindi. Now Italy must chase, but some of those men there wearing the Azzurri Stop. blue feel as if they're treading through treacle. They have it now, though, to Italy. 
chance maybe to counter. A miscue from Panny. It's Litchfield who grabs it. The tackle that time from Lazarine, so important. Here goes Johnson, the youngster. Important intervention there from Chenna Daisy. Wardell loses it, but the ball's gone backwards. Powerful carry forward there from Will Hobson. Edwards tries to find a way through. There's the offload to Fissilar. And Italy have the penalty. What a turnover that Only time one. from Riccardo Genovese. <laughs> and the crowd are going mad. Don't think they can believe what they're seeing. This young bunch of Italian lads here taking England to the wire. Everything England try. The offloads, the little passes aren't going this time. Fisi Lau just holds on to that ball a fraction. And, and the, again, the referee, true to form. If you give yourself an extra half a second, a second you're going to get pinged. And you are, you can't do that. Just relieves the pressure. Yeah. Bodies and everywhere. We have a blue 12, he's injured. So we have a substitution by blue. Well, England are preparing to uh, bring their a, captain a off. Substitution, two and. Finn Baxter being called to one side. He'll be replaced by Mark Dormer of Newcastle. Substitution, you. Yeah. Also yeah. coming on, Finn Theobald Thomas of Worcester. He will replace oh, the bar hooker, John Stewart. Thank you. Thank you, Alberto. It's good for the player. Toby Knight will assume yes. the leadership role, which is what he Sorry, had up at, uh, at Edinburgh this time last week. You have the time here? Is that the correct yeah, time? Yeah, it's correct time, yes. Alberto, do you have the blue player? We don't need big score lines yeah. to have dramatic rugby matches. <laughs> <laughs> no tries, the best 6-0 I've seen it for some 14. considerable time. 14. You know, we've got everything, total desire, good scrums, line out, breaks. Let's go, yeah, yes. 12, sorry, it's 12. Everything bar tries, but like you said, if it's played at this, at this pace, you don't need him. He's done well. Fazari. I think that partnership let's centre go, part go. and hit Passarelli and Fazari have been good. 12 is off. Well, wearing 26, waiting to come on is Paul oh, Murray okay. Porancelli. <laughs> he plays his club rugby just down you the road in for Venice the for Rangers Vicenza. We wait for the substitution, your number 12 is injured, so we wait. So Arturo Fazari leaves us. Also coming on is Giovanni Sante of Moliano. So that is that alteration with Sante of Moliano Time coming on for Pizzari, the policeman from Rome. Tani. Oh, he picked up rather a lot there, didn't he? Good kick. Yeah. And he kept it into the stands as well, so England couldn't uh, just catch it on the touchline and throw a quick one in, because that's what they want to do. They'll oh, walk to it now. Yeah. Even though it would have been, sorry, an Italian throw in. I'm getting ahead of myself now. But again, they'll walk to this one, they'll get it right, they'll catch and drive, they won't do anything fancy. Limit England's chances of a turnover. And that clock oh, ticking right. over in slow motion. And Frangini gets just a little option. bit wobbly there with the throw in. Scrum or line up? Scrum. Well, again. He knows, it's just look at the hooker. You are captain, yeah, yeah. In the deciding go for a scrum, which has. Well, we're getting within five minutes, and you have to resolve who your man of the match is with on this occasion. The match hanging in the balance. <laughs> I would suggest it's poised to be an Italian at the moment, Mind. but uh, who knows? Set. Whoever he is, he may yet end up being on the, the losing head. side. The there it is for Edwards. On to Johnson. Litchfield. He's held up. It's a double tackle from the Italians in the thick of things there, Passarella. 
taken forward by Fisilau. They're still in their own half for England. The clock says we're inside the last five minutes. Yeah, shot, shot. That was Ollie Dawkins. Here's Edwards. The floated pass. Fisilau again takes play inside the Italy half. The tackle's not quite so intense now from Italy, but they've got that man into touch. They've turned it over, George Hendy. Is taken in, it's an Italy ball. Point. Again, I didn't really. Well, they've made the call, have the host broadcasters here. Nine, the Carlo nine. Genovese, and let's be honest, Dowie, no. it could have been any of a number. Well, that's when he started 15, on his tight end. I think he's gone to loose end as well, so I mean, he's... <laughs> I, got, I say a good tight end's worth his weight in gold. He's got double, double weight there. He can play both sides. And again, that's been one of the big reasons that Italy, apart from their desire and, and just their mental ability just to get themselves up for this game, which has been the scrub. So Liss is coming to the last throw of the dice now for England. Again, they were a bit dull going up that blind hand, the blind side. Inside. Hendy going to keep it too high up in a tackle, getting bolded out. As under a guard, BC is off. He's been replaced by Gianluca Tomaselli, another policeman from the Fiamoro Club in Rome, which is the police team. Also on is Palmeri Porincelli. Three and a half minutes. There he is, Tomaselli. Pumps it up high. Bailey comes across. Play on. Referee says play on. It was a contested ball. Falling on it there is Sam Edwards. <laughs> Diego Bailey, I think, is hurt. Time is off. And that's why the referee has blown the whistle. But again, two people going up for the ball, eyes on the ball, contesting it, as you said, that's fine. And he's coming in, he's got his Pani, arms up, he's not it's looking not that side. Play. Same Two as Bailey. Two players the ball, exactly. so the, yeah, the so. player is injured, so yeah. we wait, and after we have a scrum for Blue Air. For Blue? Yes. OK, perfect, thank you. Well, no, it's a big sorry. call from the referee, yeah, yes, because right, she sorry. has decided they're going <laughs> to restart sorry. with an Italy <laughs> scrum. <laughs> Autumn has it come forward <laughs> off... Uh, we have a scrum here. <laughs> I don't know. I'll hold my hand up, she said it's a Blue scrum. Must have gone forward. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's good to see that Diego Bailey is uh, looking a little bit brighter now than he was <laughs> even half Merci. a minute ago. Are you checking for foul play? Or? No, no, no. No, no, just waiting for him to get set. Yes. Well, you may have heard uh, almost a desperate call from one of the England players there saying, are you checking for foul play? And the referee said, no, I'm not. Why well, scrum? A little more than three minutes to go. Italy lead by six points to nil. Thank you so much. Well, Dowie. No, no, if no, we it's clear if we, consider, we have a check, so it's not foul play. Certainly in the recent history of under-20 rugby, no, I, H -I this is an yes, England H -I side which 14, has 14. dominated the world H -I -A. over the course of the last decade. Remember Jack Clifford's side won play, the under-20 title in France no, in 2013. No, no. Control, Maro Toji no took England to the world title 12 months you, later in Auckland. No. So Alberto, Diego Bailey being told so, to go off for a no, head injury no, no, assessment, no, no. which will okay. effectively rule him out of the rest of the match. We have a doctor of... No. And, and, and we've assessed him. It's as a match doctor who decides the situation. So if it is HIA, he wants a substitution. Thank you. Well, the referee explaining it's a decision taken by the match yes. doctor. Yes, it's HIA. Well, he's not and you can understand the frustration but the protocols are there for very good reason so back comes Francis Moore to replace it
Yeah, slight confusion because Bailey, again, he was down injured, so you've got to take every precaution. Time is on. Time's Let's back on. Right. No, 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 no. I think the referee got did say it was a blue scrum, wasn't it? But now it's a white scrum. <laughs> it's all going on. Doesn't matter. Three minutes. That's all England are going to be concerned about, and that's all Italy's going to be concerned about to secure this lead, secure the victory, which would be absolutely make this place rock. Set! 21. 13 straight wins for England against Italy, and now they've got the penalty. 21. Two and a half minutes to go. To push. Tomaselli, the reserve scrum halves come on. You can't touch your opposite number again. That's a bit of stupid play from. Italy, when they have the strength in the scrum, England will nudge this down. Don't be too cute. Give himself a launching pad, at least for one more attack. Here they go, England in a big meeting. The jog to the line out. Coming up just the two minutes to go before this place explodes. Two minutes in which to save themselves. Pin fear ball, Thomas, just a word in his ear coming from Will Hobson. Just one more opportunity. Well, they've lost it of England, and you could see there how Tom Lockett was appealing. He felt he was interfered with in that line-out, but the referee says not. And she's checked with Eric Goza. 90 seconds to go. Italy have to be very, very careful here. There's Tomaselli. Yes, thank you. Well, I'm hearing my ear, one and a half minutes to go. That'd be about right, wouldn't it? You can see the clock in your top left. This is all about now. Can Italy hold England out? Can they be clean? They, they don't want to go off the feet. And Italy have forced the penalty. I think that is game. They're going to take 30 seconds or so to take this penalty. It doesn't matter. Nothing. What Knight does going up to have a chat with the referee. There's a minute to go. Take the time, take the centre, walk to this line up. This should be game. Doesn't matter. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. England have been outplayed tonight. Time is off. Tom Lockett was still appealing to the referee and saying that an Italian hand was all over him at the line out. Time on. But his pleas are not being heard. One more kick for touch, one more set piece, and that will be pretty much it. England have failed to score. 13 consecutive wins at this level for England and Italy are just one decent line out away from ending. Predictably, they've gone short. The clock says we've got 10 seconds. The clock is counting down. Five. It is a huge moment in Italian rugby, not just at under 20 level, but at all levels. <laughs> European under 20 rugby has been spun off its axis. Italy have beaten the Grand Slam champions. A famous, famous night in Treviso. This is where the heart of Italian rugby beats. And I've got no doubt that the reverberations from this will be felt all the way south to Rome with a Guinness Six Nations match coming up on Sunday. But if you are looking for a reason to believe that Italy belong at the top table of European rugby, you've seen it over the course of 80 minutes here in Treviso. These are tomorrow's men in Azuri in the Guinness Six Nations.